Hey guys, it's me. Oh, it's not like Jamie Genevieve there. Let's do that again. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I've done this sort of more wearable, more easy to do festival look. Like festival looks are obviously in at the minute because it's festival season. We've had Coachella a couple of weekends back and then you've got all the big festivals in England coming up. So like Glastonbury and all things like that. Some of the festival looks I've seen on like my Instagram and stuff just seem way too out there for me like if I'm sitting in a tent I'm not gluing gems to my face ain't nobody got time for that so I thought I'd do this sort of I mean it's still a bit out there still a bit eccentric for me anyway this more sort of wearable festival look I mean you could probably wear this on a normal night out or anything like that but for lazy girls like me this is enough for me. I mean, you can take it further, but that's up to you. So, if you'd like to see how to achieve this look, then make sure to keep on watching. I'm going to prime my eyelids using the MAC Select cover-up in the shade NW15. Carve out underneath my eyebrow. To be honest, I don't really know what direction this look is taking. I've got an array, got an array of bright coloured eyeshadows in front of me so I'm just gonna wing it and see where it goes but I am going to be using my gorgeous new Zoeva brushes oh my god they are so pretty they are such stunning brushes and the quality they look amazing now I know I wanted to create something more wearable for a festival because I know it's fun at festivals and stuff but you see some of these mad eccentric looks and who's got the time for that Especially if you're sitting in a tent. I'm just going to dip into the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette and I'm going to set the eye area using the shade Thanks a Lotte. With my Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Transition, which is this one just here, and just concentrate that as my transition colour. Oh, I'm excited! So just to warm that up a bit and make it a bit more orangey, I'm going to go in with the shade Hashtag. It's concentrating that more in the crease and not dragging it up as much. Just to deepen up that crease area again, I'm going to go in with the Makeup Geek shade Morocco on, on the Zoeva 231 Lux Petite Cream. I'm just going to concentrate that right in the crease line. flatter blending brush from crown i'm gonna go in with the shade the makeup geek shade coco bear and i'm just gonna pat that on the inner and outer thirds of my eye then just to intensify that a little bit more i'm gonna go in with the shade americano from makeup geek She feels like forever since I sat down and did like a talky tutorial. I've been lazy lately and been doing voiceovers because I've been wanting to watch TV while I do it. I'm actually gonna plonk down some glitter in the halo area. I'm gonna use this shade, sort of goldy red. I can't actually remember the name of this, but I'll make sure to list it in the description box below. So I'm just gonna use my NYX glitter primer. Morphe NB19, I'm going to go into the glitter. Dip into my Urban Decay Electric palette. So using my Zoeva 234 Lux Smoky Smudger, I'm going to go in with Chaos. I'm just going to concentrate that right on the lash line. Then I'm just going to blend that out using the Chaos shade. I think I'm going to use this NYX Glitter Pot in the shade Blue. So again, going back in with the NYX Glitter Glue. Oh, it's gone everywhere. So, moving on to base. Mix some primers today. I'm actually going to use the Professional. It's a little, little combo. I, I've used a couple of times now and I've liked how it's turned out. So, I'm going to use... Benefit Professional on the centre of my face and then 
on the outer sides of my face I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi Magique going in with professional I'm just going to rub that in this general area to give my skin a bit of a glow foundation today I'm going to go in with the Clarins Skin Illusion and then just using my Real Technique sponge to blend that all out The concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. And then I'm actually going to use my sponge to blend that out. Blend out the immediate under eye, I'm going to go in with Pure Fibres. I'm going to cream contour today, so I'm going to use the MAC. Uh, MAC. La Masca Hollow Pigment. Now it's time to bake and I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. Now we wait. Is anybody actually going to a festival this year? I'm not, unfortunately. So I'm just going to wipe away the bake using this Morphe MB1. Bronzer, I'm going with the trusty fave, the Benefit Hula, and I'm just going to use this flat powder brush. Contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I'm going to use this shade right here. I'm just going to concentrate that towards the back. No matter how much I contour, I can't get rid of this thing. I'm just going to wipe away. And now for the highlight, I'm going to use a new highlighter I've picked up and I must say I am absolutely loving it. MUA Undress, Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter and this is in the shade Pink Shimmer. So I'm going to take my Morphe M510 brush. Like I said, I imagine, I always imagine festival makeup to be quite glowy so I am going in on the highlighter. But when do I? Now time for blush. And I'm going to go into my Morphe 9N blush palette. I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades. Now time for lips. I think I'm going to go with a nude lip. I'm going to be boring. Yeah, I'm going to go for a nude lip. Primark lip liner pencil in the shade Biscuit. Colour my whole lips in with that because you will want your colour to last if you're in the middle of a field all day. So I'm actually going to use the Rimmel Apocalypse Liquid Lacquer, Lip Lacquer, whatever. Ooh, that's peach. Ooh, I actually quite like the way that goes. And then just a little spray of the Smashbox Primer Water. Just to get rid of any matte looking area okay there we have it i'm just gonna do something with my hair and then i'll be right back and i'm back i've got my hair in a little and if you can see a little bun on top i think this is like the easiest sort of festivaly type hair isn't it especially if you're somewhere like glastonbury or redden or leeds where it's like a good few days you're there and your hair is on its last legs you can always throw a bit of dry shampoo in and throw it up like this. I've just put it, sectioned it off and put it in a ponytail and then wrapped it round into a bun and clipped the bun into place. Obviously not very well because it's fallen out everywhere but just clipped it into place. So this is my sort of more wearable festival look. You can take this a little step further and stick gems on your face or do dots around your eyebrows or anything you can add to this look a lot more than this I just feel like some of the festival looks that I've seen I know I wouldn't have the patience to sit and do that before going to a music festival all day but then again I'm lazy so this this does me this is this is so I hope you liked this little tutorial if you 
like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want to hear more from me hit that subscribe button i am um, so yeah that's me done hope you hope to see you again soon see you later bye